What is up you guys today? We got another quick little install video. We're gonna show you guys what's going on. Alright, ready? So today, oh fuck, let me get it. Alright, so today we're gonna put some spacers from AutoZone. Shout out to AutoZone. Put some spacers on my wheels to make them stick out more to see how they look. So we're also doing a little experiment. I've heard about this. I'm an engineer. We're gonna test this out. Test it out, and over the last couple months, next couple months, actually, we're gonna be, you know, checking and see if it actually works, and let you guys know. So we're doing an oil change. Also comes something I've been looking forward to do to my car for a while now to make sure something you need to do to your car. Something that I recommend every 10 Gen Civic out there to get. I'm not lying. If you have a turbo on your Civic, get it. it. Is a Mishimoto catch can. So today we're doing my oil change and we're gonna make sure, we see what we got. If it's bad, if it's good, we'll see. But I've seen a lot of forums that said, got a Tension Civic, get one. So for today guys, we're putting spacers, oil change, and changing my catch can. Then we also got a couple of friends doing stuff of their own. Yeah, multiple, Back there. multiple projects going on. All multiple projects. So we're gonna hopefully get this fitment a little more flush. Hopefully he got big enough spacers or to just get that a nice nice flush fitment. But let's go ahead and see how it works. First things first, you gotta jack up your car obviously, put on jack stands, be safe. Oh, I like to live my life on the edge, bro. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to this guy. But yeah, make sure you jack up the car and put it on uh, jack stands. I didn't want the jack stand. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. You gotta see. Just say you do <laughs> jack stands already, bro. Alright, oh. alright. Yeah, we do use jack stands. Yeah, we use jack first. stands, safety first, and then you gotta remove this uh, shroud. shroud thingy. So it's just mostly just clips. You just twist them, they come right off. Oh, what the fuck? So just fly out your money. You, you're gonna need a Phillips for this. I think. I don't know. But yeah, we'll check in with you guys when we take this off. All right, you just loosen up the nut. Somewhere right there. How big is he? What? A, a, a 17 millimeter. Yeah, that's pretty big. That's a pretty big nut, bro. It's been a while. <laughs> I could tell it's been a while. Seven months. <laughs> Prison. All right, loosen that up. Let all that oil drip out. I have no oil. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you have oil, bro. You have oil, all right. I can't move my mind away. Man, it's darker than my soul, bro. What the fuck? 5,000 miles, guys. <laughs> you live in Cali. 5,000 miles. Perro. Está mirando. Oh, you filtered it though? Oh, that's hell easy. Fuck, bro. How do you get the screw? Oil filter right there, drain plug right there after removing little shroud. Alright, we're just gonna let it drain for a little while and then we'll, we'll take off the oil filter. Alright, I'm under the car right now. I'm about to take off the oil filter right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and put on the new one. Alright, so here is the new oil filter. It's that annual protection from over one. And <laughs> make sure you, you lube it up, get it nice and lubed before you put it on there. Alright, don't forget to tie in that the oil drain plug, tie, tie it back up, and then we're solid back here. We install the shroud back on, and then we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with oil. But he's selling you, that's bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna sell him. We got a Honda selling Mobile one, hit me up with a sponsorship. Alright, so now we're gonna remove the, the catch can, make sure it's not full of oil. Oh, mother. I mean, mother ducker. Oh. I can't. Yeah. Back there, just take off the two Allen bolts. One right there and the other one in the back. And then always we'll check what's in there. Alright 
guys, got the catch can all emptied out now. We're pretty solid on that. And we'll see if we do the spacers or not, but we'll see how, obviously the car's running now. Oh, it's all good to go. Uh, check in with you guys in a bit. Alright, so we're putting what's called the spacer, the spacer bro. into my wheels. So Just make sure you're using the right side. Oh, what the no mom is we like that? So the lighting in the back. I see. There you go, bro. Alright, we're good? Alright. And then what do we do now? Put the wheel back on, bro. What the no, Alright, we're gonna lower it, see how it looks. That way, like, what if you guys have a picture of it? Of what? Of yours? No, of yours, it just shows everything, right? Yeah, alright. Yeah, alright. Fuck, that's how it's Cambry. That's how it's supposed to be. Looks pretty good. Oh. All right, check out that nice fitment. Oh, where's the light? Free one time where we're at, bro. Hey, we're at uh, In and Out. Little, little food run. We got the whole squad. Oh, show them the squad, bro. We got the. Roll with WRX. All, all of the new members. Two new members here. A Camaro, oh no, a Camaro, and a Mustang, and the OG's hatch. Another Mustang, and the SI. We're just missing the fit. So, we would like to walk on these two new members right here. So expect more Mustang installs and Camaro installs coming soon. Just remember, we're gonna do it. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to give it a good like, a subscribe, and a uh, <laughs> little, little merch plug for uh, Dustin. Our boy. Our boy Dustin. Got a, got a signature right here. I don't know if you guys can see, somewhere on there. But yeah, um, that's it. So expect more installs, now we got more members. Hey, all right guys, peace out, and always keep improving.